Norman Quinn, a firefighter in Hallandale Beach, Florida for the past 25 years, is experienced with helping others. As a firefighter paramedic, I spent most of my career on the rescue truck. But sometimes his job has hazards even he doesn't know about. I responded to a, uh, a call in our city jail. The patient was a, was a prisoner. Her mouth was and gums were covered with blood and she opened her eyes and spit in my face. Chief Quinn contracted hepatitis C from that encounter, but he didn't know it until 10 years later when he had a routine blood test. Many people with hepatitis C, or for that matter, many other chronic liver diseases, don't know they have anything wrong with them because the liver is a very silent organ. Hepatitis C is a virus that causes the liver to become inflamed. In some cases, the hepatitis C virus, or HCV, causes scarring of the liver called cirrhosis, and this can lead to liver cancer, liver failure, and death. It is transmitted primarily through contact with blood or body fluids contaminated with blood. The people who are most commonly at risk include IV drug users, healthcare workers, and hemodialysis patients, but others can also contract the virus. The sharing of um, razor blades in a household, it's, household contacts can become infected. Body piercing, tattoos, these are all uh, risk factors uh, for developing hepatitis C. When somebody goes into a tattoo or piercing, the person who goes there, they don't know if that syringe and that needle is sterile. And also with the ink, if one patient is infected and goes, you know, for tattooing or piercing, that ink can contain uh, the virus. When symptoms are apparent for HCV, they're very similar to that of the flu. Extreme fatigue, mild fever, nausea, vomiting. Some patients may have diarrhea, dark urine, and light-colored stool. Some may develop a yellow cast to the eyes and skin called jaundice, but often there are no symptoms. There are effective treatments, however. There are antiviral therapies that attack the actual virus at the RNA level and destroy the virus. There are antiviral therapies that attack the coat of the virus and destroy the the antiviral medicine, ribavirin, is used with interferon to help stop the hepatitis C virus from making new copies of itself and allow the immune system to kill the HCV. The cure rate with this therapy is somewhere between 30 and 50 percent. Those who aren't cured are called non-responders. And even if patients don't respond the first time around, Doctors say the treatment may actually set the liver's clock back a few years. So for every year on therapy, we buy you about six or seven years of fibrosis-free living. Patients can live with hepatitis C for many years, even if they don't respond to treatments. But if the disease progresses to the end stage, liver transplantation is the only option. There's a waiting list, though. Unfortunately, in this country, there are more candidates for liver transplantation than there are donor organs av available. Everyone in high-risk categories should be tested. My message for the patient who is a chronic carrier of hepatitis C and feels well, see your doctor, understand that there is treatment available, and um, be very hopeful.